Well, we all have a tendency to take things for granted, friends, family, even our basic motor skills. But there's a team in Orange County that doesn't have the luxury of sight. They take nothing for granted, and now their opponents take them very seriously. 69-year-old Sandy Burton doesn't let her visual impairment get in the way of an exhausting weekly routine. <laughs> Training alongside her blind outrigger paddling team. As you'd expect, Sandy is the envy of the senior citizen complex she lives in. They're just totally amazed. They, I can't believe you go down there and you go paddling three times a week. And I thought, yeah, while well, they're sitting there in the clubhouse pl playing card games, I'm paddling. <laughs> the Makapo Canoe Club makes quite a splash wherever they make an appearance since they're one of a kind, always racing against sighted teams. They're usually amazed because they don't realize at first that we can't see. Okay, guys, you ready to go? Among those in awe was Kirsten Williams. The lifelong paddler met the team in Hawaii following an 18-mile open ocean race. I just could imagine what it was like to set out to do something like that, something that you'd never tried before and without any ability to see what you were doing. The other thing I want you to add today is your leg. Based on that courage and dedication, Williams didn't feel the Makapo team had to settle for last place every time they hit the water, so she offered to coach them. Beautiful work. That was four years ago. There are no more last place canoes full of blind people. Crossing first is the last thing on her mind when looking at the big picture. Williams soon found out blind people tend to live with a little bit of stress, fearful of falling or crashing. In a canoe, there's none of that. They get to go as hard as they want, as fast as they want. I can't wait to come down here. It makes me feel alive and it makes me feel that there's nothing I can do, I can't do when, after I've been here. And Team Makapo's training uh, to raise funds to compete in uh, canoe paddling's biggest race later this year in Kona, Hawaii. That's a good uh, cause to help. That's a great idea. That was That's fun good. to watch. All right, sure. All right Mario, thank you.